What's up guys? This is the Brave Woman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Data War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, uh, we have sallied forth to attack this Maratha army um, before it can combine with other Maratha armies and cause some real problems at Calcutta. We are continuing to expand our foothold, so we need to keep on the offensive to make sure we don't get overwhelmed. Um, this army's got lots of artillery, lots of cavalry. Um, let's just crack on. Um, so I think it's going to be a question of withstanding the initial cavalry attack while also withstanding their artillery, well, their rockets specifically. Then once we've defeated their cavalry, we can sweep forward, deal with their artillery and uh, chew up the rest of their line infantry. So that will be uh, the plan of attack. We've not got a huge amount of artillery. So we can't just wipe out the cavalry quite quickly. They will make it to the line. So we need to make sure that we manage our front line accordingly. Come on, let me in. I want to get into some. I want to get into some action. Uh, but yeah, we need to make sure as the Marathas get close to us that we, if it's if it's appropriate, we just tackle them head on, so they don't get into a position where they can uh, overwhelm us. I'm probably going to have to spend a bit of time providing targeting information for my artillery at the start. Set up our line, put my Continental Marines on the right flank, back them up with some, with both of my skirmishes, just to see if we can lure the enemy um, cavalry towards them. I want to see if you guys can fire a shrapnel ship. I mean, you can just try pummel there. You, my thought too, just try pummel their um, their artillery. Although, if they're actually going to fall back, then on the right we are going to advance and threaten their artillery positions. Come on. Yeah, my artillery. Oh no, they're not even limbered up. Or unlimbered. Okay, to be honest, I expected their cavalry to um, swarm us, but if they're not going to, we are going to gain ground. That will likely trigger an enemy attack. Eh, I lost about 19, 40, maybe 50 guys from that attack. That rocket attack. Let's see how close they let us get. Really, you want to focus on the enemy cavalry running around it looks like they are surrendering the left so we can take our line here and just crank them forward really far you may actually pull back Light infantry, well, they need to get on top of this hill, really. So they can get up there at speed. Bajir lancers are in the area, but that's why my cavalry is here. Back them up with some native bone auxiliary. Get my artillery to start engaging. The enemy to the rear. Same with the quick climb. Just start attacking. Push the line forward, especially if we can provide a bit more cover for our line infantry. 
get them up here. Native bows sit behind. Grassier push further to the right. Push forward. Artillery, just keep round shotting their artillery. We're within musket range of them now. Howitzers, just keep dropping quick climb here in front of my light infantry. There we go, we've dropped them square. That cavalry unit is currently peaky. Trot my cavalry back. Well, if they want to chase after us, we'll go after their general with my cuirassier. Squares have held firm. The unit of lancers is shattered. Excellent. Push my line forward. Their heavy cavalry is chasing my heavy cavalry. They could have absolutely smacked my um, skirmishers, but they didn't. Killed the enemy general. We're going to get charged by Union Polygar. But we're quite, quite a veteran outfit. Got our light cavalry up. Let's get my general up here as well. might lose my heavy cavalry in this engagement if we don't knock out those elephants quick. Charge my skirmishes, my um, light cavalry into the dervishes. Especially while they're on the move. Back them up with the 19th regiment of line infantry. Okay, everybody's I've neglected my line infantry. Well, I've neglected everything for a moment. You chase down the sea musketeers. Yeah, the line infantry will make sure my light cavalry don't get too badly smacked. Skirmishers chase down the Seeing Musketeers. My Curiosity are winning against the Polygar. Let's get the General ready. Cease fire the artillery. There we go. Dervishes are going down. Polygar being fired upon, but we want to chase down the Seat Musketeers as a priority. They're still holding, which is impressive. Got a little pocket of infantry at the back. Kill the dervishes. Yeah, Seeing Musketeers are good units. It'd be useful to take them out. But less speed up time, because right now it's only these dervishes that are resisting. So get the infantry back. Kill the dervishes. Okay, 
probably not going to get them because they're all spread out. Okay, we kill the dervishes. The gunners are probably going to escape. But let's make sure we get the um, Seeking Musketeers first as a priority. One, ah, there's one dervish that survived. They're going to escape. Well, let's just optimize the pathfinding here. I didn't even get them. So it's that unit in the corner that's going to make it. Still, it was a good victory. It was a good victory indeed. Lost 450 men. We killed nearly 2,000 of theirs. Content on Marines gained some experience. So did my light cav. But they might lose it as they reinforce. My other marine unit got some experience as well. Forward. March. Excellent. Osbert, replenish. You can probably you probably could do with Make ready. more artillery. Well ultimately both of you can. Nathaniel Green, you could do with more artillery as well. Artillery is the key to beating the native. Indian factions. So you're on your way towards Katak, but we are prepared for you. Your army is building. Okay, let's. So you're recruiting six units. You've got space for nine. Oh, you, you need one unit of. Oh, you've already no. We've maxed out our light infantry. Okay, there we go. Then we're back on with another general. In Europe, we've done everything we can. Well, we've done almost everything we can do. You're steaming in, but that's fine. We're replenishing. You're actually in a territory yes. we can't get. Can get to you. We can get to you. Ah, no, I have. To, I can't get to. Get into Hanoverian territory. For crown and country. There we go. So our yellow control zone means that they can raid this, but they'll have to loop around. Ready. Your position to support the siege of Cologne, if that gets any more problematic. You're waiting on your one unit to bolster your ranks. Then in the States. Yes, sir. This is all done. Ernst Maynard, you are going to ever so slowly build up an army to get ready to attack Santa Fe. Okay, apart from that, everything else seems to be in order. Okay, things should get better. As we expand our foothold and capture more territories, are we building fortifications? No, we are not. Okay, you might actually be in trouble. Yes. That's why you are nearby. Your humble servant. Okay, you might actually have to sit inside the Netherlands just to stop them from getting too upset. But we're going to move one infantry unit out. Ready and awaiting Anything more? Use our most depleted units to reinforce the Make others. Sense. There we go. So you're up to full strength. No new technology on the horizon. Let's hit enter. Get more ships. Not that we really need them. But, uh, you know, every little helps. Austria bringing more troops down to the Balkans. Okay, so they've attacked us. We've got a reasonable amount of reinforcements, though. This first army is a bit dicey, but we want our reinforcing infantry to come up first. The best infantry, even skirmishes. Something like that. 
probably what we want. So we're going to have to hold, which should be okay. They don't have much artillery. The reinforcing army could be problematic, but we've got lots of artillery. Um, we just need to not run away. Worst comes to the worst, we've got plenty of reinforcements coming in anyway. It may have to, uh, it may make Amsterdam, their priority be just to churn out infantry so we can reinforce our armies in the field more rapidly and then leave the generation of new armies to London. They, they, they will be able to generate, you know, the infantry, the artillery, the cavalry in a manner that Amsterdam might not be able to do. Because the focus will be, uh, focus will be trying to keep our uh, infantry corps alive. Okay, right. You're actually kind of useless. So all of our units that are about a hundred people wide that are infantry units, hundred people wide, hundred are infantry get ready I mean yeah the first foot guards are um, they're elite so they're a bit different yeah, it's position one gun team here so we are going to do a bit of an all-round defense this artillery team is not going to engage they're going to get ready to pivot to wherever the enemy reinforcements are coming in from skirmishes place more stakes okay actually let's put our mercenaries down our republican guard are going to hold to see where the enemy reinforcements come in from Oh, it's his position outwards fire quick line from the get-go cavalry form up sweet okay okay re reinforcements are coming in from the extreme right flank really not a Deal, but not terrible. Ooh. Legion, occupy that building. Republican Guard, defend just a bit behind it. Although they're a bit, f they're a bit far out for that. This gun team that hasn't deployed yet. Okay, this unit needs to... They, oh, they can't run away, actually. Although, actually, you might have, may have to... Uh, position. Actually, quick, okay, quick climb. Start to quick climb there. Artillery batteries. The enemy cavalry is making a large... Well, they are advancing. Okay, no, stay, stay behind the cover of the trenches. There we go. Quick line will allow us to decrew these artillery pieces. This gun team can. You might actually start to engage the line infantry. Engage them on the left so that we can just mop them up and then move these deploy redeploy our left flank. Blow some holes in their line infantry so they retreat faster. You're quick climbing the infantry. Let's 
triggered the artillery, the enemy cavalry to commit. We're killing the gunners, but not necessarily enough. Knocking holes in the seventh, which is great. Oh, these provincial scouts aren't actually in the field yet. Okay, let's commit my infantry on the left out of the defences. Move up my provincial scouts. Lance of guards are under fire. Let's start to fire along our line. Artillery keep engaging them just so they break. comes the enemy cavalry they're in the diamond formation Pushing the left flank up. Commit my cuirassier in over here. Cavalry charging the back of my infantry, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Excellent. horse up here as well, bring my general up here. To be honest, my Republican Guard are a bit out of it over there. Pivot, pivot. That's one gun team got rid of. Let's focus on six pounder unit because they're mobile. Enemy cavalry, enemy lancer guards when they retreat, they should hit a bunch of stakes and fall back. Get the cavalry out of the way because they're being fired upon. This unit's putting volleys into the garrison guards at point blank range. Commit this cavalry in. You quick climb short of the guns here. Actually, you quick climb short of the guns here. You quick climb short of the guns up here. This gun team limber up. start to consolidate our front line. You need to get out of the way. Let my cavalry stay there. They have to suck up some of the damage. Get my Republican Guard out. Get my Legion out.
you men keep engaging the lone howitzer. Exceptional hits. Good hit. Let's see if I can gun my cavalry out of that action. Let my dragoons stay where they are, see if my regiment of horse can get out and snipe those artillery pieces. Here comes the enemy horse artillery. See if this cavalry unit can get out of there. Unlimber. Go for the artillery first. Our reinforcements coming in on our left flank, that's quite handy. No, we, we're, we're being caught up by their carabiner, but don't worry about them. Artillery engage the garrison guards. Okay, so now it's the enemy. Now it's our reinforcements. Well, the enemy reinforcement army we have to worry about. You men charge the garrison guards. Enemy artillery has been broken. Unlimber! There we go. Enemy skirmish cavalry versus our dragoons and regiment of horse. Let's see if our regiment of horse can get out of here and go attack the horse artillery. Stay alive, 3rd Regiment of Dragoons. Oh no, my trap was shot. Round shot. Excellent. Kill the carabiner. They don't like it. Excellent. This cavalry is knackered, but recall it anyway. Just because we might want to sneak up and attack the enemy. Although the horse artillery is not doing anything, so it's not really a risk right now. We just have to let the enemy reinforcements enter the field and because they're entering one at a time could be a bit of a trifling matter to deal with them so I'm going to speed up time there we go just because these poor militia are going to get smacked by Artillery before they get to our lines, and they're going to come in one at a time. So, yeah, they might make it through the trees. When they get within musket range, we'll slow it down. Let's get my long rifleman inside the farmhouse instead. Hey, buddy. Musketry coming in. Sounds being funny. Gates the line infantry. Oh, they are coming back. Hit the line infantry. But yeah, this is going to be. Oh, no. Run away.
And they are running. They do want to. They do want to uh, actually engage. I mean, the long rope runner are actually engaging from this distance. You know, they don't want to engage. They're going to wander about. That makes them great for quick climbing. That's right, form square. Although, in a way, that's kind of not entirely dumb because it means they can gather their strength, but can they gather their strength fast enough? That's the problem. To make sure, let's try hitting this unit of Jaeger with my quick climbing howitzers. These guys are there thinking, we've got our rifles, we're safe. Then a whopping great big cannonball full of quicklime comes in and smack. Misfire. Yeah, they're advancing in good order. Yeah, but they might hold off and skirmish, but we've got our... Long Rifleman in the building, plus the Legion, plus a bit of Quick Climb. That's got rid of 13 of them. Bit of a miss, but there you go. Our Riflemen are engaging already. That would have been a great hit if it went off. Well, they do the decent thing and advance just into our musket range. Still coming forward. Oh, there we go. A completely reasonable outcome. So let's push my line and my skirmishes forward. Okay, is that your actual army now? I'm only speeding up time just because this is going to take. They don't really know what they want to do. I'm going to get one quick climbing howitzer to work on the militia. Shrapnel shot will make them detonate too early. Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally clicked on my second monitor and started dragging my recording area around. Which, if it looks a bit funny, hopefully it doesn't look too funny. Yeah, you have to move further up. But yeah, it might not have been. It might not have uh, ruined anything. It just looked funny to me. Maybe I don't know. We'll find out. Be the way. It should only be for a couple of seconds. What we do is rock up your quick climb. Okay, more than enough. An attack ground just short of the house. The area of effect kicks in, kills them. Ooh, nuts. That's the reason why they weren't there weren't any reinforcements coming in. Okay, let's get quick lime hammering this area. Oh, I could actually come in over here. Okay, cool. Good to know. Run, 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 run. If you don't run, you're going to get shot at. Okay, form up, spin around. Make ready. Lower! 
Good hits. Okay, yeah, they, they still do have troops to come in. Okay, so you men form here. You men form here. Get the quick line working on this area here. Although you're just... Something like that is good. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. This might go on for a little bit longer then. Militia wheeling around. Immediately wavering, so... Yeah, shattered off the bat. Phew! Okay, that is everybody. Good, 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 good. Awesome. So that's Austria beaten back for one turn. They will be back. But actually, it looks like they are pulling troops out of the west, allowing our armies in Spain to cause them a lot of problems. Do I want to intercept? Probably is the answer to that. Johann Josef von Raditz. Uh, yes, we are going to fight this. Action. Let's get to it. But yeah, the armies I did have positioned in southern France are now able to move up. And it looks like they might give us an opportunity to uh, siege Paris as a result. And then that'll really screw them up because then their armies in Western Europe have no easy... Um, easy way to recruit reinforcements I don't want to defend the town always i'm just generally not that pleased with that as an idea always find defending the town a if you've got superior firepower which is something i always strive for it's almost never worthwhile. Really? Um, okay, drop. Nope. Okay, let's let this a bit badly. So drop two units. Twelve pounder. Two units. It's a really bad spot for twelve pounder. I mean, it's chiefly a bad spot because you've got. If you ever did want to fire any shrapnel shot, the trees in front of them would just make them immediately um, burst, which you don't want. Get my skirmishers out on the left, on the right rather. Keep my Guards and grenadiers in the trees, ready to defend the town. Give them the heavy cavalry. All my light and regular cavalry on the right. Heavy horse howitzers. Just always fire quick climb. Fire round shot off the bat. Where are you going? My guns are engaging at long range. Okay, let's make my artillery aim at different targets. First horse guards are coming in immediately. The aim at the cuirassier with shrapnel shot if you can. To reload like your life depends on it because it does. My light cavalry sharpshooters behind the guns. Oh, this is gonna matter, men. 
Good shots. Two other blasts. Volley from my sharpshooters killed a bunch of my gunners, but my god, has it done damage to them. <laughs> yeah, fair trade. Get my sharpshooters in the line. Howitzers start dropping quick lime. Advance the grenadiers and guards up. It looks like they're not going to be in a position to stop us. You men switch to shrapnel shots. Sharpshooters in the line. Oops, charging in. A white horse. We're aiming for the 131st. Get out of square, both of you. Warm up. Okay, something like this. Regiment of foot, line infantry. We've done nine men. My cavalry involved. The grenadiers stick around. Is there any enemy cavalry back here? Yeah, let's get my heavy horse to work on the. Okay, the new men running through the gaps. New men advance just to stop you, stop you from firing while my light, while my cavalry chases down there. Troops. Seventh Grenadiers are in a position to engage the 68. Provincial cavalry are committed, so let's start engaging enemy artillery again. Hello, enemy general bodyguard is in position. Care that you charge me, go get him. Can you wipe out that line infantry unit? Yeah, we go. That was always going to happen. Sharpshooters chase down those grenadiers. Move out rapidly, don't worry about the general. Let's get the surround on these guys. Okay, you may as well charge the general bodyguard. Watch out for the stakes behind them. Killed the general. Made them break and then run that way immediately. Chase down the Grenadier Guards. Kill that Hessian Jaeger, then attack the 12 pounders. Put artillery to cease fire. I've killed, lost a bunch of my. Horse Grenadier Guards to Stakes. Okay, 
You kill the Deutschmeister Regiment, infantry charge the Fusiliers, howitzers cease fire. Actually, you charge the mercenaries, you men charge the Fusiliers. You've got the last of that regiment of foot. Then attack the Fusiliers. Excellent. The last handful of Grenadier Guards. Make sure Fire at Will's turned off. Nice. Okay, go after those mercenaries with the general. Fusiliers are dead. You men both go after that unit of Fusiliers. Everybody go after that Fusilier unit. Nice. Very nice indeed. Six men left. There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great. That's a army just completely obliterated. Go me to replenish, but we are doing a better job of reinforcing our front than the Austrians are. Enemy sail. Spotted. Um, that's not ideal. It's not terrible. We've got a good army. It's just we have to be very efficient about how we deal with them. Um, because that. I mean, no, that's not going to be... That's not great. This army... Sorry, Mr. Southerns. You're in trouble here. I thought that army was close enough to reinforce. But apparently not. We will do what we must. Our field marshal may fall. A little bit of coffee. Right. Let's see. I probably blow way. I probably blown right through my uh, episode limit. This is the awkward bit. If we deploy back, then mortars will kill us. Well, if we deploy back, then mortars might not kill us. But if we deploy forward, we can use the... The mortars might still kill us, but we can use the... The town, or the fort itself, as terrain that can help us. How it says are going to be up front, going to... Blast quick climb at the enemy army. Okay, you men blast away in howitzers. Quick climb the center. Oh, obviously, re enemy reinforcements are coming in from the right. Fair, actually, you haven't got to blast your way in. We're going to send some units to blast their way in. You can't engage that regiment, certainly. Try and engage them with how it's a shot, but you need to focus on a mortar garrison unit with your quick climb. Okay, how 
Let's just limber up. We need to use the fort, you know, to, to save us. to capture we try and get something in to try and kill those damn mortars Soon to be in shrapnel shot range. Cross the air, run into the fort because the gates are ours. If we can break the provincial camp, that would be super. We have, excellent. Yeah, get in there, wipe them out inside. I mean, this still isn't going to work. Got the enemy unit here. You men just man the fire step. The square got broken. do is just get in. Artillery round shot. The regiment line, regiment of line infantry. Kill the regiment of horse artillery. There's still um, a mortar unit inside. Okay, all of you focus on the 104th Regiment.
get in. You just have to unlimber. Let's try to get some. Come on, you've received your order. Get up on the wall. I mean, it might not work. It just definitely probably isn't going to work, but. Field Marshal of America, run away! You need to try to clear out this left flank pretty ricky tick. You men drop into square. Cavalry fall back. Okay, this is going to be a gamble. I can get my quick climbing howitzers inside. Excellent. Send a unit up. Try attack. Swiss line. step have we run oh no there's a full unit of provincial line on the wall yeah this is definitely not gonna work <laughs> Shot the militia. Kill them. Kill them all. There you go, that's right, you men man the fire step. Then you can engage stuff that comes in from over there. Come on, use your shrapnel shot to save. Yes, you did. You use your round shot to engage the 46th Regiment of Militia. Excellent. Are you men 
Okay, we start manning the walls. Shot the militia. Come on, you man, get inside. You're just engaging them with with um, artillery shot, which is fine. If they get closer, we can start to pick at them with our muskets. Well, the artillery is actually shooting at the Swiss line. Switch to round shot, attack the militia. We've got rid of the 13th regiment. won't engage because there's still grenadiers running around on the walls. Come on how it says get in here you're crucial to this. You need to get in here so that the gates close. Especially because they're coming. Especially because they're coming. Oh Lord, they're coming. Make it in, damn it. The 64th can only hold them off for so long. I mean, if you die because you just keep snaking around outside the port, that's on you. Give you an order to run out. Well, not run out, but go out. Meanwhile, the 12 pounders are doing it just fine. He walked away. Now get back in. Man the guns. Yeah, they're going to die. They can't get in the wall. You men are manning the guns like you, like you want me to. Kill this howitzer if you want, I don't mind. I 
And look, they're just going in circles. So that unit is useless until they, until that unit help there dies. Let's keep trying with the old give them new orders plan. try. If we can get you guys in the fort, that'd be super. No, it's something to do with you guys. Hey. Oh, yes! You might get in. Open the door. Yes! At last. Engage the Swiss Grenadiers. What are you guys doing? Finally. Okay, you men actually engage the Swiss Grenadiers. You men engage that unit of Swiss Grenadiers. Artillery up here with round shots still doing a grand job. This is working. Oh, you guys came back. Okay, let's get them. Switch targets to the militia. Good hits on the Swiss Grenadiers. Nice. 24 pounder. Work on the 15th regiment. Let's just start knocking them out one at a time. Looks like these reinforcements might be stuck, which is quite nice. Which means it's just you guys. Yours might be stuck too. Excellent. Let's put these fusiliers up on the wall if I can. These 18 troops. Okay, you see if you can man those guns. Chose the wrong time to move, Monami. Oh, you got hit by a danger close quick climb. Very 
very well. Artillery engaged the grenadiers. See if my fusiliers man the fire step. There we go. That's what we want to see. They'll chew them up. Good, excellent marksman. Fusiliers are. stuck. The reinforcements might be functionally unable to come in. Which if they are, that'd be super. Yeah, 12, this 12 pounder aim at the 15th. This a this uh, 24 pounder aim at the 7th regiment of the militia. And definitely within Shrapnel shot of my artillery battery at the back now. Blast them. I mean, if they are stuck, I'm definitely going to cheese it because this army is way too big for me to deal with. The artillery doesn't want to open up on us either, which is very nice. Although they are actually. 14%, 8%. Yeah, those grenadiers have been broken from three batteries firing shrapnel shot. Oh, just a bit too close. No, you're not. Which we aren't so bothered about. Come on, Grenadiers, you've been here fighting for a long time. Just run away and be done with it. You don't want to fight, not really. Of ammunition, you do, but you're not actually firing, so fire it well off, fire it well on. I think I do want my artillery back here to limber up. I mean, because everything else, everything's on kind of autopilot at the minute. Let's just. Limber up and redeploy. I mean, this might trigger their cavalry to shoot at us. Because their howitzers are now engaging us with quick lime. They're shooting at my artillery now. I'm not going to target my artillery because targeting them seems to really upset the AI. First round, straight on top of a gun. But to be honest, it looks like we might be able to semi cheese this. If we can knock out their howitzers. And ultimately, we might be able to get the heavy horse howitzer with a miss. Okay, now they've worked out their um, their uh, problems with the infantry entering the field. Be 
yeah we've got my my artillery can now engage their troops looking to reinforce I think I'm going to yeah, increase speed up time a little bit here because this is just going to take just a little bit of time. You can't engage that artillery back here, but that's okay. They've only got one gun firing, so it's going to take them ages to do stuff. All right, well, off and on again. Get them to pick new targets. Engaging the militia. I mean, yeah, there's just no. Yeah, run, 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 run. Hit the Swiss guards. Apart from that, I'm not going to aim at this Hussar unit because they're sat there doing nothing quite nicely. Okay, they've sorted out their reinforcement problems, but I think it's way too late really quick climb to deal with these Swiss guards the militia are they've also been dealt with shrapnel shot the hussars there we go just because they were they couldn't make up their mind quite what they wanted to do I'm sorry I'm playing this on time dilation because right now it would just take forever to do anything Okay, let's move up to here. Just, yeah, right now. Still engaging with skirmish fire. I think they can't work out this isn't a siege. So once we got in the fort, they don't quite know how to react to that. But you're going to move up to here. You're going to be able to open up on their artillery. And their commander, I imagine, at the back. We managed to knock out their their one working gun. Line infantry's gone and obliterated. Okay, let's move some of these troops over here. You have no ammunition, so get off the wall. Just get people over here. Just man the fire. Get them to man the fire steps and just shoot, because right now there's no no reason to do anything. Hit the militia at the back. Yeah, it might be a bit touch dangerous. Let's attack ground actually. And artillery, just give them a little bit of a helping hand. Yeah, they're they're gone. So if I can kill these two units. It's a victory to us. Have we left a gun behind, or has one been destroyed? One probably got destroyed. Okay, now this artillery battery just fire at will. You can aim at their horse artillery battery. We're going to get some secondary kills against the provi pro provincial cav because they're going to be there. Okay, this is the was the most unlikely of victories because we oh uh, yeah look at that that's ridiculous or again we did kind of cheese it by getting into the fort but that's the only way you could win that engagement if you tried to fight on the open field especially because they had reinforcements coming in from multiple directions and they had their mortars that made sitting back really hard that's that's crazy man that's absolutely crazy. Yeah, it wasn't the most enticing battle to be had. I get that. Um, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. 
I wanted you guys to see it so that you know that I cheesed it and didn't do anything particularly awesome. Um, ooh, hello. We need to kill some of those fleets. God damn, where did they... They must have had those sat ready to attack somebody. Yeah, Calcutta's being swarmed. We need more troops. <laughs> we need more of everything. Need more ships. Well, ultimately I should bring more... Should bring more fleets across. Oh, the, the Ottomans are gathering again in the peninsula because I don't really know what to do. Um, yeah, it's yeah. I think the game is fundamentally broken with how they've done Istanbul. I think that's the root of the Ottomans' problems. If they want to try and get troops from the Balkans to Anatolia, they have to get into the city and out of the city rather than just running them like all the other empires can do. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a bit... Yeah, it's not quite right. It's not quite right at all. Um, but the only reason I can see it is because I'm, I'm trading, so it, it's really easy. If you weren't trading with the Ottomans and you had no visibility, to just kind of go, oh, the game's crashed. Like now, you think the game might be crashed. It's not crashed, but they're just moving stuff around in the fog of war that I can't see. They're just doing it in really small amounts like this <laughs> um, where they could have been they could have been doing something a bit more proactive Yeah, they don't know. Right, I'm going to... No, I'm not going to chop this. They're actually doing stuff. Although none of it really matters. Um, Yeah, yeah, I'm going to chop it. So I will see you guys uh, in a second. And we're back with some other nations. Although immediately, as soon as they bring it back to Russia, uh, they start running around in the fog of war. Yes, we do still own Ust because Russia gave it to us. I'm probably actually not going to really invest in keeping this territory. Uh, it will it will just be a negative, a uh, net negative on our empire. Handy, but uh, not not a not a super useful territory. We will have military infrastructure so that we can build um, some troops if we absolutely have to. Um, but until we have to, then I'm not going to worry about it at all. But yeah, things are getting quite dicey for us in all of these theatres. Although I must admit I'm feeling more confident about the Austrian front than I am about the Indian front. Because we have those two armies coming from the south that can cause lots of problems for the Austrians. Because capturing Paris and sealing up that western front will be super useful. Whereas in India, we just need to keep, just keep pouring more troops in. Yeah, the Balkans is quite dicey as well. So, yeah, we just need to keep holding, keep pouring more troops in. Um, Orissa is ready. Well, there's an agent in Orissa, sorry. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here and then immediately start recording the next one. So I've got all of this. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.